What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and this week I want to talk about if Skull and Bones will be canceled, or I guess the possibility of this happening. Now, we've covered Skull and Bones quite often on this channel. If you guys like these kind of videos, if you guys like me covering Skull and Bones, please consider subscribing to our channel, hitting that bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up. And funny enough, the last Skull and Bones video I made, I talked about things that it needs to show us when it returns, right? When it comes back from the dead, uh, what will it actually have to show us uh, to win us over? And I believe when that video went up right around that exact same time was the news of basically what the future Ubisoft titles are going to be over the next year or so. And we got confirmation, obviously, like, yeah, well, I guess confirmation without. We can kind of read between the lines, right? Like, Assassin's Creed is now like, okay, like, we know it's coming out uh, probably this fall, right? It's got to land somewhere there. Watch Dogs Legion is, is there. Uh, we got that Rainbow Six Quarantine. That's fine. Uh, uh, Jason Schreier has said, like, like uh, Far Cry 6, that one's coming. So, I mean, we got a, a bunch of things. And a couple of things that we could also read between the lines is Skull and Bones and also Beyond Good and Evil 2 are not part of the plan basically over the next full year, which kind of sucks because if you remember, Skull and Bones was pushed, I don't even know back when originally this game was supposed to come out, but I do remember that it was pushed that it was not going to come out anytime before, I believe, March of this year. That technically, in the last uh, like year report that Ubisoft had, or even the last fiscal report, uh, Skull and Bones could have released anywhere between March of 2020 to March of 2021. That was kind of the area. Now, they basically talked about what What's coming in March of 2020 to March of 2021, and Skull of Bones is not there, therefore pushing it another year. And in the same conversation, Jason Schreier also had said, like, it's gone through multiple reboots. A lot of people have left that team. A lot of people have come in, and, like, it's no, it's one, it's nowhere near close, and two, it's definitely not even what we remember seeing uh, back in the day. All scary. All terror, honestly terrible, terrible things. Delays are fine. Delaying a game is fine. I've always said that, but uh, rebooting something over and over and over again is not fine. People of high positions in your development team leaving is not fine. Uh, the game continuing to be pushed, and it's kind of, it sounds basically more and more like what we've all feared, that this is a game had so much potential. We were all looking forward to it, they definitely look like, and I, I don't even know, I'd love to know behind the scenes, because the way we always paint it, right, is that they showed it to us, and people, I mean, we liked it, gener I would say, I mean, I'll say, I'll speak for myself, I generally liked it, and I wasn't even all that caught up in the negativity of really the, I guess, the main focus points of what everybody was trying to say of like, hey, this isn't here, and we don't like this, this, and that. Remember, that? I mean, that was a big thing back at that E3, and I wasn't even really part of it. I never really said, and I really never even had uh, many criticisms. I definitely understood, like, I get it, and now, and when I hear it, when people tell me, hey, you couldn't do this, or, or like, we would want uh, the game to do that, be like, oh, I mean, yeah, those are all really good points, but I'd love to know if literally doing that, people saying, like, was there that much feedback, negative feedback, that they were like, oh dear God, and they, they went into hiding, they started retooling it, but then everything literally went off the rails. I, I, I would love to be a fly on the wall and like learn about the history of Skull and Bones, of like what actually happened. And look, this video is in no way saying the game is confirmed, like, or the game is confirmed to be canceled, right? So the game is not for all that we know. I mean, Ubisoft actually hasn't talked about it in a very long time, um, but last we heard, I mean, the game is still very much real. It's still very much happening. The game is not canceled. And we also know, I mean, Ubisoft really doesn't do that. Ubisoft doesn't really let one of their franchises go. Even the even franchises that come out and are not received well, Ubisoft has a pretty solid way of, of rebound. I mean, say what you I mean, Ubisoft makes a lot of mistakes, okay? There's no doubt about it. Uh, you know, you could argue if they're one of the more greedy or some of the just overall the worst publishers, whatever you want to say about Ubisoft. But at the end of the day, they make some very, very solid games. They have very solid plans. And you look at games like The Division, even like a game like For Honor, uh, Ghost Recon. Like, yeah, they've all had downs, right? Or like The, the Division uh, 1 sold extremely well, but was it really all that great? I mean, it was okay. Division 2 definitely has faltered. But I wouldn't put it past them to make a, uh, a Division 3 
and make it very, very good. I also wouldn't, I mean, yeah, Ghost Recon Wildlands was really good. I played it, actually. I owned it. I still do own it. Um, uh, Breakpoint was not very good, right? And you look at with that game that they kind of stealth released it. They're like, well, <laughs> the Watch Dogs was supposed to come out around this time. We have Ghost Recon as well. Let's just throw that out there. We'll all be very, very quiet about it, and maybe, like, it'll do, it'll make us a little bit of money, and we just will pretend like it never happened. But, I mean, Ubisoft does have plans and places uh, there, and I think with Skull and Bones, I don't, I, I will tell, like, my personal opinion is I don't think it's a game that will get canceled, but it is worrisome. I mean, honestly, it's kind of what we've all said. Now, we've kind of, I think we've all assumed that it was not going to release over the next year. I feel like the more and more time has gone on, we could have all assumed that the game is not ready to release over the next year, but... I was hoping that it wouldn't have had all of these problems. I mean, again, hearing that it's basic, I, he said it's been rebooted multiple times. That is not good because at that point, we talk about Arkham a lot, Batman Arkham on this channel, and people have all their worries of those games being redone and canceled and restarted and stuff like that. And the general idea is that the Batman game coming now, soon, has been worked on for several years. Yes, they canceled a couple games, but now they've been working on something steadily for several years. With Skull and Bones, it's a lot different. We don't actually know now. The game that we saw, the game that they had first pitched everybody on, all that stuff, that game is probably not around anymore. And even the game we saw the very last time we saw gameplay, that game is probably not. I mean, it's realistic to think that they really could have restarted uh, development on this game, say, like, a year ago. Like, it's very possible that the game is only... When we actually get... If we do, if we do, but I think when, when we get the full Skull and Bones experience, it's possible that that game has only been worked on for 6 to 12 months at this point, which is, which sucks. I mean, there's no other way of saying it. It sucks because that means that we're not going to see it for a long time. I doubt we see it at this year's E3. I think this E3 would probably be more focused on Watch Dogs, more focused on Assassin's Creed, more I'm basically focused on the year that Ubisoft talked about. Assassin's Creed, Watch Dogs, Far Cry, stuff like that. I mean, those are going to be, I think those three would be uh, the big ones that they would talk about. So Skull and Bones does, I mean, next year is possible, right? Because that gives them maybe you say like two years, maybe a little over two years that they've been making the game. Maybe they're ready to show it again and it's all back. But it's just worrisome. It's worrisome when a game gets rebooted this much and, and people this high up that Jason Schreier said, that high up in companies uh, leave. It, it, it leaves, uh, I mean, it leads to bad development. And I guess the hope would be, I guess the best thing is actually what is happening. I mean, I wouldn't – because what normally happens is if high people leave your company while you're making games, normally the game would probably suffer at the end. You'd probably be able to point out that there were some things that happened. Whereas if they leave and you completely restart it, you have the you have the potential that nothing happens. In fact, you look at probably the maybe not the most like notorious because of like it wasn't like talked that down upon, but it was a big game. Uncharted Four, Uncharted Four, Amy Henning. I mean, they had a script, they had a game they had planned. In fact, they had filmed and done so much work on that game for like over a year. And then they uh, let her go. And they, because of disagreements or whatever, they let her go. They completely restarted Uncharted 4 with Neil Druckmann. And it turns out, I mean, the game didn't, you know, it didn't uh, falter because of that. It did really, really well. But they had to completely restart. So if that's the case with Skull and Bones, I mean, hey, it could be actually the best of what we all want. I mean, looking at it from a positive perspective, which is what I like to do in these kind of situations, the positive is this. New people coming in, if it's restarted, they do get to kind of hold on to maybe the central idea of what Skull and Bones was supposed to be, but new people in there, new ideas, so chances of new things that we would never have gotten previously, they know what we want, They, st I mean, they like no matter what, they knew what we wanted because we talked about it, we've complained about it, uh, we've, we've told them about it, all that kind of stuff, so they know, and now we kind of get to restart with new leadership, all that kind of stuff, so hopefully... You know, if that all happened at one time, then when we do get the game, it's all been from one, you know, steady unit for several years, like making something. So, I mean, there are positives for sure. The question is, is that uh, it's not even, and we've talked about it in past videos, 
the the thing is, I don't think Ubisoft would cancel it. the The question or situation at hand, I think, would be would it get which and this is not a good video title. This is why I can't actually title it this. Uh, would it be like a Ghost Recon Breakpoint? Would it get like that kind of treatment? Would it be one of those stealth releases where it's like, oh my God, we've had this game cooking in the pipelines for like eight nine years. It's been rebooted several times. Like let's just slide it out there. Who cares if it's good? We're not even gonna talk about it, and it'll just do whatever. And because that's not all ultimately what we want right but i mean that could be what they do i mean it's very very possible uh that happens the only other w uh, there's only three things that could happen one it comes out and it's actually good and it's what we want and all that kind of stuff two is it's a huge disappointment but they know it and so they sneak it out and three they cancel it and i don't think they're ones to cancel something that they've started that doesn't seem hasn't seemed like the ubisoft way so it's either option one or two we'll have to see which one it is but guys let me know in the comments below what do you think does this game scare you do you think it has a possibility to be canceled let me know in the comments below again like i said in the beginning of this video if you guys like the skull and bones content i make on this channel make sure you guys are subscribed make sure you guys have the bell icon rung so you guys can support these videos like share comment all of that stuff and if there's still continued support on these skull and bones videos i will of course continue to make them okay so thank you all so much for watching i'll see you all in the next video